Hi, I'm Teresa O'Connell with Teresa Loves NJ and Keller Williams NJ Metro Group. Today we're going to tour Atlantic Highlands, one of the Bayshore communities in Monmouth County, New Jersey. A couple of my friends in Bergen County have been asking me about Atlantic Highlands, so I thought I'd go down there and take a look. Atlantic Highlands borders Leonardo, Navisink, and Highlands, New Jersey. It sits along the Sandy Hook Bay and has the largest harbor on the East Coast. It also has the highest elevation of a coastal town, sitting 266 feet above sea level. It's 55 miles from Bergen County, about an hour, and 35 miles to Newark International Airport. About 4,500 residents live within its 1.2 square miles. The beautiful marina can accommodate over 700 vessels. Nearby to the marina are the senior center and restaurants. There are also public restrooms. The marina is stunning, and on a clear day, you can see Manhattan from the dock. Atlantic Highlands attracts New York City commuters that live locally and in the surrounding towns. Thanks to its high-speed ferry that stops at the Battery Maritime Building and East 35th Street, seven days a week. Parking is included in the price of the ticket. Sea Streak also provides seasonal cruises to Manhattan, and there's fall foliage and well-watching trips. Atlantic Highlands has a beautiful downtown located on First Avenue that runs from the harbor to Route 36. It has substantial retail and office options, making it a destination town. There's restaurants and bars, coffee shops, ice cream stores, a hardware store, movie theater, playhouse, arts council, lodging, and professional services. On 1st and Route 36, there's a shopping area with a supermarket, other restaurants, and stores. You'll also find gems outside of town like Zoe's. Parking in Atlantic Highlands is very convenient. On 1st Avenue, you can park for two hours for free. There are also other municipal lots, and there's a municipal lot down by the harbor that's also free all day. In town, you'll find the post office, the municipal building housing the police department, the library, and all the other departments that keep the town running. Nearby are the fire and ambulance buildings. Atlantic Highlands prides itself on its small town policing. You'll also find the Atlantic Highlands Elementary School on First Avenue, serving a little over 300 students in grades pre-K through six. Students then move to the Henry Hudson Regional High School in nearby Highlands to attend grades seven through 12. There's no shortage of parks. Harbor Park and the Marina are where a lot of local festivities occur. The Recreation Department sponsors Movie Under the Stars and a summer concert series. In August is the Film One Fest, a film festival for movies that are under two minutes. And in September, there's an annual flea market fundraiser benefiting the Historical Society. Down by the harbor, there's also the Henry Hudson and Bayshore Trails, tennis, pickleball, and basketball courts, and even a skate park. At Veterans Field, across from the municipal building, there's a weekly farmer's market from June through October. Take Ocean Boulevard to the Mount Mitchell Scenic Overlook Park and look out over to Sandy Hook. There's a playground and a 9-11 memorial as well. As far as housing goes, there are multiple housing options. Apartments, condominiums, multifamily, senior housing, and single family homes. Architecture spans Victorian to modern. The general property tax rate is 1.988. And the average property tax bill is under $10,000. While you're driving the windy roads of Atlantic Highlands, check out the homes, many of which have views of the harbor. Walking around town, you'll see a lot of historic homes. Atlantic Highlands punches above its weight in terms of amenities and involves citizens. I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of Atlantic Highlands. I've left a bunch of links below in case you'd like to delve deeper. Mm -hmm.